Welcome back if you've been here before and hello if this is your first time. And if you're anything like me, you hate having an unorganized desktop screen. So today I'm going to show you how to organize your desktop screen with a program called Fences. This tutorial is for educational purposes only. Fences is not a free program, but I am going to show you all how to get it for free. And if you like the program, do support the developer. It really does help. With that said, let's take a look at our desktop. Looking at our desktop, you can see that it's a complete mess. Everything's all over the place. You can barely navigate and everything is in no order. And it's actually becoming pretty hard to work with. So let's hurry up, get this fixed. The first thing you're going to need to do is go over to your browser, Google Chrome or whatever. Actually, you're watching this in YouTube. So the link will be in the description. So just click on it and it'll take you over to Mediafire where the file is hosted. The download file is 27.85 megabytes. So it's only probably going to take you three to five minutes to download. Just click on that. I'm not going to download it because I already have it downloaded on my computer. But when you do click on it, it'll it'll be added to your download queue and you're going to extract that with either WinZip or WinRAR whichever extracting program you got so just max that out when in WinRAR it'll be like this fences pro free if you double click on that you will see that it has three files inside it the crack the extract the, the setup file and some the crack is actually the program data and the program files what you want to do is take these two folders right here and put them straight inside the C directory and then execute the program because the program is actually going to be reading the crack which is in the program files and the program that is could be going to be telling the program how, how to talk with the program files so open up your C directory which is this one right here new volume C colon colon and it's this what you're going to do is highlight these two programs right here and drag it over when you drag it over, it's prob it's going to say if you want to rename all the stuff that you have in there that has the same name as this. You don't want to rename anything. What you want to do is just skip over everything and just have two individual programs right here. And then after that's done, you want to go back in here and run the setup. So just double click that. And when the setup is running, it's going to take probably like seven minutes tops to run. And then after that's done running and you finish installing everything, just install all the defaults. Uh, and it's supposed to pop up on the screen right here. If I can find mine underneath all this clutter. I have right here Fences Pro. And one way to find out if you did the installation correct, if you double click on your screen anywhere, you should see all of the shortcuts and icons actually move. There's a pair. That's one way to find out if you installed it properly. And the way Fences work is that you can actually put put all the icons in different sections on your computer inside their own little category. So by just holding down the right mouse button and dragging a box in whatever dimension you want, and then that's on pop up. It's gonna ask you to create a new fence here. You just click that, and it'll ask you to name it. Since I have a lot of games on my desktop, I'm just gonna call this one Games, and click OK. And I don't know if you guys can see this little black box right here, but that's now my game fence. And I can just drag all the games I have inside there. Into, well, that's all the games I can find right now because I know I have more, but I can't find them because of all this stuff. But what also I like about this thing is if you click the Fences Pro icon right here, it'll bring up here. And you can see this is right here what I have on my desktop right now, this game subcategory. If you go into appearances and you can't barely be, see it on the desktop, you can always change the color and the intensity of it. That's my favorite color is green. Let's change that into green. And now you can better see the box fence now. And you can move it wherever you want on the screen and the icons will follow inside that box. Let's make another category by just holding down the right button and dragging. If you drag over an icon, all the stuff the icons would go will ask or actually be important inside the fence so create new fence and what wow, they're automatically all went inside there and we're going to call that others since i don't know what type of files these are actually and we can continue doing this until we get this entire desktop cleared up actually that's what i'm going to do right now talk about completely transforming a desktop now you can see that it obviously look way better now it's way more clearer from how it was the first time 
And what I like about this program is that it actually includes a scroll bar inside the box, inside the fences actually, that you can scroll down with in all of them. Right there, and then you scroll down and see all the content that is inside the fence. And if you don't like where a fence is, you could actually move it around. The one problem I found is that these names, it has only in black, but you can always fix that just by double clicking on the fence icon and going to the appearance. And right here where it says change label text color, click on that. Let's go for a yellow since I always see they mix yellow and green together. Let's go for the bright yellow. Yeah, perfect. Now you guys can see that all the fences have their labels on it. Production, office, games, others, protection, YouTube, media, pictures, all that fun stuff. But also what I like about this program right here is if you go into the organize, organize tab, you can click, like for instance, if I click images, every time I take a new picture, it, it can, it would automatically go in whatever fence I choose. So if I pick, pictures every time I take a picture it will go inside this fence right here without me having to physically drag it and put it there you could also just change the layout right here this is how they gonna look they give you a nice little preview on how they gonna look right here I just like to keep it customized because I'm always moving it around anyway one thing that I would like to see in a future update of this program is the fences could have been more than one color obviously this desktop is looking way much better now from how it looked the first time. Now you got a nice, clean, work-friendly desktop. The only thing worse than having an unorganized desktop screen is using someone else's unorganized desktop screen. Ew, creeps me out. It's like a virus just waiting to get clicked on. So if you know such a person, please bless them with this video and support the developer. Talk about support. If you guys want to support me, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps a lot. I really appreciate it. It helps out the channel a lot. Shows me that you guys like what I'm doing and want to see more. Anyways, that's it. See you guys later.